Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo mod making video. My name is Leaf and today we are going back to South America. We are going back to our New World Primates and we are making the Black Howler Monkey. Now these guys, I love them. Guys, these might actually be some of my favorite monkeys ever. They are also known as the Black and Gold Howler Monkey because the sexual dimorphism they display has a male with a pure jet black coat and the females have a much more kind of golden tannish like i don't know if you guys have ever seen a golden talking i don't really know if i can relate that to this one because you know it might relate like a very obscure animal to another very obscure animal but nonetheless the females have this beautiful golden coat and the babies actually do have a little bit of like a tannish coat but yeah these guys are absolutely amazing and they go along perfectly with the uh, Colombian brown TD monkey, I think it is. Colombian gray, Bolivian gray TD monkey. There we go. There it is. So these guys actually are named for their call. And I know this is a pretty common fact, but you know, I'm going to say it nonetheless. The call can be heard up to five kilometers away, which essentially boils down to about three miles, three, col five kilometers, three miles. So they're very loud. And they often use these to uh, basically warn each other about predators. You can see me start to like work on the mane a little bit more over here, just trying to get everything to line up. Um, the model was relatively easy. It was just a matter of getting the female to work, which we'll get into that in just a little bit. But yeah, these guys are absolutely striking. We have them over in Roger Williams, of course. We actually are getting these out all before Nick and I go off on vacation because we do want to get the next episode of Roger Williams out. And yeah, these guys are absolutely amazing creatures. They can live up to groups about like in about like 20 individuals. And it's just really cool to see like all these guys monkeying around. <laughs> Pun intended. <clears throat> Sorry. And yeah, I just really do love how well they turned out. I had to use a capuchin just because, I don't know, the macaque really wouldn't work out well for this one. I feel like the capuchin was small enough to get these, like, quick, sporadic movements. And the macaque is more so for, like, kind of medium-sized monkeys. I know, like, for, obviously, for other macaques as well, but I think it might actually be good for baboons, too. Or baboons, however you say it. But, yeah, it's just, like... Now you get to see me just play around with it, putting the models inside of the game. And we actually do get into the female just a little bit later down the line. But yeah, I just really do love how these guys turned out. Like, I know a lot of people are complaining about the female, and I promise I will get back to the female once I get back home. Just because I know a lot of people have some qualms with it. It just doesn't really match their standards, of course. But you know, I really do care about like, getting the best possible product for you guys. Here you can actually see me work on the female. So I basically took all the color out of the original model for the male and I essentially just tanned it out, made it a little bit more yellow and you can see me kind of like load into Blender right here. It actually came out pretty good at first and here I am just going through like the rest of the model making sure that everything lines up well, especially the feet. The feet are kind of like difficult to work with and just making sure that like all the scenes match up and whatnot. I really do like how it turned out in the end. I know a lot of people don't really like it, but you know, I feel like it does the monkey justice. It's more like a solid coat with a little bit of patterning on the head and the chest area. You know, it just looks nice to me and I really do like that. But yeah, these guys, I like I'm really happy that I got these guys down. Every single time I go to Roger Williams, I can never hear them howl though. They're relatively quiet, probably because there really aren't too many predators in Roger Williams. I mean, you know, it's it's not every day that, you know, the, uh, what, what kind of dangerous animals do we have over there? We don't really have too many. Yeah, we don't really have too many predators. I guess the snow leopard would be probably one of the more dangerous ones. I'm trying to think of what else we have, but like, yeah, not every day the snow leopard would break into the tropical house. I mean, that'd be the day when that happens, but you know, it doesn't really happen. We actually don't have too many predators at Roger Williams now that I think about it. That's kind of crazy. Like, you think of zoos having like all these like, you know, tigers, lions, all this stuff. But no, Roger Williams just has snow leopards and I guess the red panda is a carnivore and... I guess the otters are a carnivore, but, you know, sure, I guess. 
here I am actually working on a little bit more of that coloration that I was talking about earlier. And the back does need a little bit of work, I'm just looking at that now, but... Oh well, we'll get to that soon enough. We'll get to that when I get back home. But, you know, in the end, I'm just happy we get more primates, because with the sudden boom in modding, we haven't really been getting too many primates. I know Jen was working on, like, a pygmy marmoset. I know... who was it? I think it was... It was the guy who made the guinea fowl. He's working on like eight different monkeys, but he's having trouble putting them in. But hey, whatever. We will see what happens. Eventually, we're just gonna, you know, get all the monkeys in. Hopefully soon enough. But yeah, I don't know why we're paused on little monkey face. I really do love how Frontier unwrapped the monkeys. They look really funny. But yeah, here I am working on the juvenile. Just, I just realized that the juvenile uses the same as the adults, which is actually really helpful in modding. It just like streams on, streamlines the process so much more. And I essentially just make the juvenile a less saturated female, just because, you know, that's kind of what they look like. And I didn't even touch the model on it because it already looked just like the... It already looked like a juvenile howling monkey to begin with, so why, why reinvent the wheel? And here I am just getting some thumbnails for them, making sure that I get all those pictures. And here we are in the live photo. Not live photo, but in the live view. And yeah, these guys are absolutely adorable. Again, I will be putting out an update for the female soon down the line. But in the meantime, I really do hope you guys enjoy them. You can see the baby walk around back there. Their tails are a little bit curved, which, you know, doesn't really happen, but they're prehensile, so, you know, it works. We just have some very special howling monkeys, and yeah, they're pooping in the back. I love how the poop comes out the back as well. That's interesting. That's new, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See ya.